Hello, my name is Professor Luke Howard. I'm a consultant pulmonologist at One Welbeck Lung Health. And this evening, I'm here at Finchley Rugby Club. One Welbeck are proud sponsors of Finchley Rugby Club, and I'm pleased to say that they're going to be celebrating their centenary in two years' time. I'm here with James Clark, who is Director of Rugby at Finchley. Welcome to Finchley, Luke. Well, thanks very much for having us. And thanks for hosting what will uh, effectively be a really nice way of us looking at exercise testing and providing four of your athletes to compete against each other and make this really interesting. But I think it would be really helpful if you could explain to me a little bit about the physiology and the fitness that's required to play rugby. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of the demands of fitness, it's pretty varied. You've got some positions that are heavily linked to muscular strength and power. For example, the forwards uh, having to push hard in the scrum, lift in the line out, on average making upwards of 15 tackles a game. As well as this, the demands of the game require you to play for 80 minutes. So there's naturally a lot of aerobic fitness needed in terms of endurance and stamina to fulfill those 80 minutes with a limited number of subs. There's lots of stopping and starting. It's an intermittent sport. And as such, there's lots of explosive movements and explosive breaks. And so for those moments, speed and muscular endurance are crucial. Thanks, James. That's a really helpful introduction and helps me understand the context of what the players are going through. OK, so Luke, these are our four willing and able participants. We've got Jack, Drew, Emma and Joy. Great to meet you all. James has already told me about the demands of being a rugby player and you all come in different shapes and sizes. You've got different demands in terms of the sprinting, the endurance, the power, all of those different aspects. And we're going to see how that all performs and washes out in an exercise test comparing you all together. So what we do is we're going to put you on a bike, you're going to be wired up, ECGs, saturation probes, you're going to have a face mask on, blood pressure cuff, you're going to be fully monitored. Uh, and what we're going to be able to do is test your heart and see how that um, escalates from resting up to peak with, by starting you at a resting phase, then warming up, and then gradually increasing the workload rate on the, on the ramp. We're going to measure power, heart rate, stroke volume of the heart, we're going to measure your breathing efficiency. And so at the end of all of that, you're going to be thoroughly exhausted, but hopefully we're going to be able to give you an idea of how well you perform and maybe even some little tips and tricks on how to improve your performance overall. But also, we're going to be able to tell you how you're going to do against each other. So can multiple uh, trials you know, help me track my progress over time? Yeah, well, that's a really good point because often what happens is people don't do this test until they've either got into a bit of training and want to see where they are, or they may feel that they're not really performing as well as they should be. So it's always really helpful to have a baseline. And so then you can compare over time, am I improving or is there a reason why I'm feeling worse than I am? And often it's quite reassuring to see that things are stable or improving and you might just be going through a, a difficult patch. So serial testing is always key to monitoring an athlete's performance. How relevant is this for sort of your amateur sports person or athlete? Yeah, I think it's really important not to see this as something really elite and exclusive um, because, you know, let's face it, in the lab, we're testing patients who can be very ill uh, right all the way through to elite level. So it's very relevant. And particularly coming back to the last point, it's relevant in terms of tracking your progress and looking that you may want to convert from being, you know, beefed up uh, and having a lot of power you're looking at him, uh, <laughs> through to somebody who may want to improve their aerobic performance. So it's really a test for everyone. I had a little game uh, with myself as I was uh, going away from our meeting last week, trying to think, right, who's going to win? Now, I wanted to have a number of different categories, otherwise, it, you know, potentially, uh, I wanted to hand out a number of prizes. Uh, so I wanted, I wondered, who's going to have the highest peak power? And I thought, well, that's pretty obvious. It's going to be Jack. Who's going to have the highest mils per kilo in terms of oxygen consumed? I thought, I reckon that's going to be Drew. He's got age on his side. And then, but who's actually going to do the best, the percent predicted? Uh, who's going to win? Because that's what I said to you on the field. That's going to be the winner. And I thought it was going to be one of the ladies. Now, I'll admit, I didn't know who it was going to be, but there was a clear, outstanding winner. We'll come to that in a minute. So, Jack, to your test. Amazing power. 400 plus watts, phenomenal. Uh, so I was spot on there, didn't need to be a genius to work that one out. But actually what surprised me about you is that obviously to deliver that power you need to consume a decent amount of oxygen and you did that well above uh, uh, normal. So, you know, good aerobic capacity as well of power. So congratulations, well done. Now, Drew, on to you. Great all-rounder. 
Now, I was a little bit surprised. I thought aerobically you'd be much better, but on reflection, you know, rugby does involve a lot of sprinting. And, and so actually this, this really, in, with hindsight, fits very well uh, with what one would expect. Emma, the same for you. Uh, you're pretty much carbon copies of each other, although you did slightly outperform him, I will say. So, great all-round aerobic capacity. Um, I'm pleased to say all of you uh, come uh, with a normal bill of health, so that's great. And the surprise, outstanding by 170% uh, uh, predicted. Uh, Joy, well done, your peak VO2 was phenomenal. Uh, and the power you delivered, phenomenal. So well done, clear head and shoulders above the rest of this lot. So yeah, I'm sure you've got all that it takes, power, sprinting capacity, but your aerobic capacity is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So if you had to uh, play 10 rugby matches each, you'd be the one standing at the end. Well done to all of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations.